Hi guys, um, I thought I broke my amplifier. Now I'm actually not sure. I ordered some new power rectifiers because I thought one was shorted out. But uh, before I was gonna do the work, you know, I set up my tripod and everything. I got my multimeter. I also got one of these car batteries from my basement. And using some alligator clips. Well, I know my desk is a mess. Using some alligator clips, I hooked it up to my amplifier and I just ran a wire from the as you can see from the positive to the ground terminal so the amp will turn on as soon as it has power through these and the speaker wires I connected to the speaker from my brother-in-law I don't know this is some kind of woofer I can't remember what he told me oh there it is I'm actually not sure what company that is I forget where he he bought it off of some website uh, but he ended up actually getting a really nice uh, <laughs> a really nice car system after after he got rid of those those did not do it for him but anyways long story short hooked it up I'll play that clip next everything turns on and when I tested the voltage uh, over here I was getting about 12 volts a little less than on a battery terminals right there but when I had this in my car, I was getting about 3 volts and 12 volts from the um, remote to the ground. So, seems to be like I'm having a problem somewhere in my car now. So, this is just a little update. I was working on a totally different video. I took this whole amp apart. I tested all the MOSFETs. And I found, I thought one of the power rectifiers, which I was getting ready to solder... All right, so just to confirm, let's just confirm we have the short, where we think we have the short. One probe here, one probe in the middle, and there you go. I thought it was fried, so I spent like 20 bucks and ordered it because these aren't things you could just go pick up at Radio Shack, at least not the model number I needed. So, you know, I got everything ready. Yeah, so it looks like I'm going to have to do some testing on my car now. And uh, another thing is, um, I had this uh, treadmill, it's an under desk treadmill, I had it for less than six months. And I've been getting some uh, trouble codes, and look, and they sent me a brand new belt when I sent them an email. So I don't know what's going on with that. Only had it for about, I think I bought it in October, so not a full half year. And someone's coming out next week to change the belt, and they sent me the belt and everything. But anyways, um, I thought I had a cool video for you, but instead you could see how I hooked this up, and you could hook it up at your house too if uh, if you want to test something out like I did. What you need is a RCA to headphone jack cable, so you could plug that into your input. And at first, I plugged it into my phone, but I'm using my phone to record this. But later on, I just hooked it up to my computer through this Bose speaker thing. But I'm, I'm testing my amplifier. I hooked it up to a car battery. I just to prove that it's coming through that. Ooh. <laughs> 
So, check this out. Now, I can't feel it through the gloves, but you could definitely see there's a uniform scratch all around the rotor, and that kind of ticks me off. Brand new rotor, and the only reason it scratched is because PowerStop gave me the wrong clips.